Hey everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E, and I'm real excited today because we are proving the formula of area for an equilateral triangle. You might not be familiar with it, maybe you are. The area of an equilateral triangle is equal to b squared, b just being the base, which would be any side length, b squared multiplied by the square root of 3 over 4. Really handy because for an equilateral triangle you don't have to find the height to find its area. So it's super cool and I just love proofs so much even if they're nice simple easy proofs like this. Sometimes those are even the most fun. So let's get right into it. I'm just going to sort of segment that off from the rest of our work. So we are trying to prove this formula for the area of an equilateral triangle. Let's get right to it. And I'm not going to, you know, write out a proof the way I would if I was actually writing a proof. I'm just going to demonstrate it to you. So let's say we have an equilateral triangle. It looks something like this. We know that if this is our base down here, then then every other side also is our base. B is just the length of the side. And now uh, we can bisect this angle here, draw an angle bisector and drop it down here then we know that this angle right here is perpendicular. So we know that this uh, angle bisector perpendicularly bisects this side because these two triangles have to be congruent by side angle side. This side is congruent to this side, this angle is congruent to this angle, and this side is congruent to itself. So these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, this side has to be equal to this side, and this angle has to be congruent to this angle. Since they're supplementary angles, they both have to be 90 degrees because they're congruent supplementary angles. Therefore, we know that this is a perpendicular bisector. So that's easy. Now, if this bisects this side, and we know that this segment is equal to this segment, then we know that they have to each have length b divided by 2 because the length of the whole thing was b, so if it's now been bisected, then the length of each segment that results from that bisection has a length b over 2. And this one does as well. So now using the Pythagorean theorem, we can find the height of our big triangle in order to determine its area by our standard area formula. So what is the height of our original triangle? Well, we gotta solve the Pythagorean theorem. So we have b divided by 2, all squared, because that is the length of one of the legs of our right triangle. So write that over here. We've got b divided by 2 squared. That's the length of this leg squared, or this one, doesn't really matter which, plus this length squared. That's our height, so that's plus h squared. And that gets set equal to b squared, which is the square of the hypotenuse. So from here, we're going to try and solve for h. So this becomes b squared over 4 squaring that whole term, plus h squared equals b squared. Now we can multiply everything by 4, so we get b squared plus 4h squared equals 4b squared, and then we're going to subtract a b squared, and that's going to give us 4h squared equals 3b squared, subtracting b squared from both sides, and then we just have to divide by 4, so we have h squared equals 3b squared over 4. And then, I'll push this up a little bit, then we just have to take the square root of both sides and we've solved for h. So we get h equals the square root of 3b squared divided by 4, like, like that. So now we can rewrite this as the square root of 3b squared divided by the square root of 4, which is 2, so we can just write that as 2, and then from here we can simplify this further by taking the b squared out as b, because we could rewrite this as root 3 multiplied by the root of b squared. The root of b squared is b, so we can rewrite this. I'm going to put it over, let's say right up here as our final expression, h, the height of our original equilateral triangle, and this is a height formula for any equilateral triangle you ever see, is b multiplied by the square root of 3 divided by 2. And you see how we got there um, down here, this whole process. So this is the height, so then from here we can just plug this into our triangle formula, our area of a triangle formula that we already know and accept. That's area equals 1 half base times height 
Well, for an equilateral triangle, we know that the height equals this, so we can just plug this in, and then we've got our area formula that doesn't require knowing the height. So that gives us area equals one-half B, can I squeeze this in here, multiplied by B square root of three over two. Just barely squeeze that in there. So if we write that out a little bigger, let's do this multiplication. We've got b times b, so that's going to be a b squared in the numerator, multiplied by the square root of 3, push this up a little bit more, and divide that by, in the denominators, we've got 2 times 2, so that's all divided by 4, and hey, look at that, b squared root 3 over 4, that's what our area is equal to, and that's what we had up there to begin with. So, all we did was we showed we demonstrated that we can write the height of an equilateral triangle in terms of its base. And then from there, we can just substitute that into the generic triangle area formula. And then we get a more specific one that can be used for equilateral triangles. And all it requires is knowing the length of one of the sides, which would just be the length of any base. So I hope this video helped you understand how we can prove this formula for an equilateral triangle, why it's true. It's a nice little uh, proof exercise. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or need anything clarified or have any other video ideas that you would like to see. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases